guys welcome back to Vito's Garage thank you so much for watching and tuning in and today it's gonna to be a video about my dad's amazing machine that is shipped to him back in 2018 it's amazing 1990 Mercedes 420 SEL in the W126 chassis just wanted to kind of give you some updates about this car right guys there she is amazing legendary car beautiful machine guys she's just a garage queen what an amazing legend yep lovely beautiful machine beautiful us spec bumpers big big bumpers the way we love it man i love this car so much and i'm happy that my dad is enjoying it and driving it but you know right now it's winter time so she's just waiting to come outside again but she's enjoying a nice warm garage at the moment and just take a look at this beauty how beautiful the colors were back then when they used to make amazing cars the scream color is super rare especially on w126 i mean you don't see that many colors out there but even then mercedes actually made a lot of interesting colors and just rich colors and uh, you know for example like green colors red colors like they used to have different many different tones and some of them were darker some of them were brighter i mean it's just so amazing how everything used to be back then I mean, even this cream color, cream beige color is so awesome. They used to have it on even W201s, W124s, R107s too. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> about 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm about to work on my dad's legendary machine I have some parts that I need to install on it a new coolant tank just as a preventive maintenance stuff like that but yeah this is what I'm gonna be doing and just kind of looking over other things on this amazing machine guys so yeah everyone is still asleep but I need to go ahead and get it. I'm still on kind of like a jet lag, but I want to start on this machine. And yeah, this thing, this is a legendary machine, guys. I'll show you a little more. But over the years, I've sent my dad a lot of different parts, extra parts, so many things, guys. It's amazing. Yeah, but this beautiful legendary machine, man, 420 SEO garage queen got the new coolant tank for it made in germany new sensor all that stuff gonna be replacing also got a bunch of new vacuum lines hoses for them and then these are the spark plug wire holders that i got that's what the part numbers are there's a second, second one i got right here too filter for the uh, secondary air pump all that and then I got these two new hoses or lines yeah original this one goes on that side this one goes like right over here oh no sorry this one goes that there this one goes right here yeah this is really nice pliable so it's a little hard, pretty hard actually. So I want to replace all this. Got the air filter off. Now I can start uh, installing these spark plug wire holders. It goes right here. 
The original ones are fortunately all gone. But these ones are gonna be nice. Okay, so I've got this one removed. That was here, this breeder hose. It's pretty bad condition, just, just really hard. Basically, I have a new one for it. It's gonna go on and this retainer for the spark plug wires is installed. I actually have to trim so I have this part that has these, you know, legs basically. So I just had to like file it down a little bit to fit better. But other than that, it's, it's great. Now I'm just taking off all the linkages and stuff. Gonna be lubricating them, cleaning them, all that stuff. Got automatic trans oil and I'm actually gonna try to use the silicone paste right now on those and see how well the silicone paste does actually because um, I've had good success with silicone paste and a lot of things and applications. New one goes on, nice and pliable. Another new hose being installed. And uh, I'm about to show you the old one. It's pretty bad, but this one's gonna go right there. Put a little bit of silicone paste on it. Look at that, nice and pliable. Okay guys, when changing the coolant tank, if you don't wanna lose a lot of fluid, so here's what you do. You kinda set this whole thing aside in the trash bag and then tilt the tank this way okay and there's the fluid floating in there and then i'm gonna put this in here and then as soon as i this is literally like disconnected already like right there i'll disconnect this and connect it right away to that guy yeah the clamp is right there make sure that don't, don't forget the clamp but yeah it's gonna have like this beautiful brand new colon tank preventive maintenance is the key guys so this one is actually original 1990 isn't that crazy so i found this uh, good used and already clean idle control valve which i'm gonna install on this amazing machine also install a new mount that one was bad unfortunately i don't have these brand new just yet but they're still you know, they're not broken. I was really careful of removing everything. And I just replaced this one and that other one as of right now. And yeah, all the linkages have been lubricated. As you can see, everything's nice, clean. All this stuff, the mounts for the the retainers for the spark plug wire, uh, wires. All the belts still looking amazing, great. So that's awesome. Coolant tank is reinstalled. The only thing I have to do about the coolant tank is I have to swap the the snap ring. I kind of currently don't have the tool here for the snap ring, but that's what I have to do. I have to just snap the or snap swap the snap ring back onto this new coolant tank. This was the old idle control valve. It's actually original from 1990. It's pretty gunked up and it's like stuck too. So I also took off this factory, you know, original brake pedal pad. I'm gonna install a new one right here just to make things nicer and all that. There's original, actually still not a bad condition. So definitely saving all this stuff. I'm gonna install this now. Okay, and there it is, looking beautiful. Also fixed this one up a little bit. It was just like coming off. Yeah, so that's awesome. What an amazing machine! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. А как под солнце красиво выглядит. Amazing. And there it is. I just uh, installed that snap ring there. Everything looking amazing. Beautiful. And I guess it's time for a change. About to install this brand new sticker from my dad on his amazing machine. Just gotta go really slow. There she is, guys, an amazing machine. She's a garage queen. She's a beauty. The hood is a little bit opened up right now, but yeah, this is the amazing machine that I shipped to my dad five years ago, over five years ago. Amazing, 420 SCL. Man, this, this, thing, this thing is, what a legendary machine. Oh my goodness so beauty so such a preserved car man why can't every owner be like this like my dad takes care of everything man look at that amazing car yeah made quite a bit of work to it already <clears throat> just a couple minor things like new colon tank a couple of new air hoses and all that stuff but yeah guys this is the beauty she's got euro headlights and i think euro headlights with long american bumpers just looks so good on this car <clears throat> literally also got a bunch of extra parts for my dad everything you know is marked and all that so also got him and i see euro triangle right here yep but man what a beauty yeah, they don't make cars like they used to. Also, my dad started doing some decoration on the wall, different uh, US plates, US license plates and all that, but yeah. That's the baby. Got a new sticker for him too. It's beautiful. Cream, I love the color so much. And I just did a couple of things here in the engine bay, guys. Like the hose here. I knew another idle control valve and fully functional. Uh, and then the mounts for the spark plug wires were replaced too, installed. Yeah, so also a new coolant tank right there. Yeah, everything looking beautiful and clean. Also cleaned up and lubricated the throttle linkages and hood latches too guys don't forget to save and love these amazing old school machines or whatever it is whatever old school car it is because back then no matter what old school car that was it was made with love quality pride and everything you can't compare those old school machines to whatever is made today unfortunately so don't forget my words and remember save love restore these amazing cars because that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. I'll be driving these cars. I'll be restoring and loving these cars for the rest of my life. Because only these cars deserve that.